this picture was taken on obviously on a cloudy day. Uh, if you look in the center above the river, the center of the picture above the river, there's a glacier there in the clouds, and you can see the base of it. But this is the Golcana Glacier in the Alaska Range. People ask me to talk about this essence in, in, a, in a couple of words. The most extreme way to ex explain Glacier River is it's for people who would rather die than change. That's yeah, a bit extreme, but there are people like that. So we're in, again, we're in a situation in the world right now where change is, is uh, more obvious, I think, than it's ever been. The need for change, the need for transformation. And we're, a lot of us, feeling pressure on many levels, not just the family level or maybe the uh, uh, business level. But again, with the society, with what's happening in politics and so on. And the power in change is inside of us. And, you know, there's all these sayings about, you know, be the change that you want to see in the world. Well, it's, it's really true. We want to figure out a way, cultivate a way to go through change in an easier fashion, a way that takes less energy to, to do it. Uh, uh, and so one of the biggest pieces that comes up, uh, one of the biggest words that comes up when we're talking about the, the uh, concept of changing, changing or transforming more easily is resistance. And... This essence is so great because it actually works with resistance. Uh, it's the, you see this river coming from the glacier, and it's gray. It was it's a gray day, but it's actually gray water. And what you're seeing in this water is a mountain that's been worn down and ground into powder by the glacier over you know many thousands of years. So this force, the weight of the glacier coming down, and then the force of the, of the water moving underneath the glacier, the melting and the thawing and the freezing and so on, has reduced this whole valley, uh, this glacial valley, to what we call rock flower. So if you took a, a glass and put it in this river, uh, filled it up and let it sit for a while, it would be about half water and half silt or, or rock flower. So the very energies that we're working with, uh, the, the positive energies that we're working with here, got that way because of resistance. There was a naturally occurring resistance between these elemental forces. So this essence is basically saying there is enough support, and all environmental essences are saying this, but this one especially is saying there's enough support available to you in this moment, in this, in this minute, to let go of what's not working, to let go of what has been. And so that in and of, in and of itself is a tremendous uh, sort of relief and, and a freeing. Yes, I'm, I'm cultivating that support. I recognize that support. Uh, I feel it in my life. I feel it in my body. And then you can get more specific and more fine-tuned with this essence and say, okay, well, I still see that I'm putting, I'm throwing some resistance on my path. It can actually help you look again in, in a deeper way, in a more precise way. Why am I doing that? What is the resistance? What purpose might that resistance be serving? Uh, because there's reasons for everything that we do. And it's not to, as the glacier uh, water has done, it's not to beat that resistance into powder, but to redirect it and say, well, here's a tremendous amount of energy that, uh, you know, I'm a fairly resistant person. I've been resistant. Uh, I've been aware that I've been resistant for quite a few years. What a what an amazing uh, supply of energy that I've got tied up in this, in this resistance. So I can use this essence and redirect that and... Of course, things will come up in a person's process of using this essence. And one of the things will be trust. Uh, developing a sense of trust to go with the flow, uh, to use the river as an, as an example, to get out the little raft and, and instead of trying to walk up the river and walk against the current, 
to get a little boat and, and just float down and just lay back and relax because the river knows where it's going. We don't have to worry around worry about what's around the next bend. Just sit back and enjoy the trip. So we joke that we, we're going to make this available in liter uh, size bottles because a lot of people will say, yeah, I, I could use some of that. I'm talking about it and I'm going, yeah, I can't wait to take some of this. Um, but it's, it can be a very gentle process. Is all, you know, I don't mean to, to say that this, there's going to be this uh, sort of knockdown process, but it can be a very gentle process of making friends with your resistance and learning from it and then letting it go and just keep doing that uh, in a cyclical way.